We are jumping into the preschool age again today. I cannot thank you enough. My last video that I made about preschool educational open-ended toys has over 6,000 views. I know I'm not a Mr. Beast of this world, but shoot, for a girl who is a new chicken in this YouTube barn, for me, that is excellent. It shows me that you like that type of content. So today, we're gonna dive into preschool hands-on activities and these activities are going to be specific for alphabet learning. It's going to be all about learning the alphabet, letter sounds, and early stages of writing their letters, so letter formation. I am Erica. I am a homeschool mom of three and I love these preschool years. I am so grateful that I still have one little chicken in the nest that is ready to go through this. It is such a magical period to me because during this time, you are either laying the foundation for them to go to school, or if you are a homeschooling mom, you are laying the foundation for your homeschool future. There is just so many engaging activities that you can do, and I have to confess, even though I have a bunch of stuff stacked up in the closet. I get a little excited when I get on Amazon and I saw some new things that were more like Montessori related and I had to buy them, of course. I'm gonna share some of those items with you today as well. And starting to lay the foundation, you can already begin just with alphabet puzzles. We have the Melissa and Doug. I have like three alphabet type puzzles that I have in our collection. I love just having a variety of different ones to keep things yeah, exciting for them. As I do a puzzle with them at this age, we go through placing it in its right spot. The other thing that I'll do is either say the letter itself, so going through A, B, C, D, or actually doing the letter sound. So ah, A, and this one actually even here has a apple underneath, so you do a word with it. And that's how I go through it. I know there's different views on whether you should do letter sounds first or the actual letters but in our house, I do a little bit of both and my kids are reading, so <laughs> I don't know what's best. You know, I am actually not a reading certified teacher, but I just know that my kids are reading at this point. Something worked. With these puzzles, you can never go wrong because you're allowing them to start recognizing the letters and you can build on the sounds as well. Next in our little lineup, and the box is a little bit beat up because this baby has been around, is this fun fishing game. So it's a basic wooden plate and at the bottom here it has a hole that you can put the pieces and I'm going to show you the pieces here. We have small little fishy pieces with a magnet and it comes with a fishing rod and this is just another way of building the letter recognition. So as they're fishing the letters you say the letter sound or you give the letter name and they just fish them out. It's just a creative way of just starting to practice those letters with them that makes it fun. Over the years I have collected a very big collection of various letter cards. I will show some of them to you. Most of these I have printed from some OGs of the homeschooling world. I am going to leave links in the description box below, but there are three sites that I highly recommend that you look at. You first have The Measured Mom, This Reading Mama, and Plato to Plato. They offer free printables. They also have some paid resources. All three of them go a little bit deeper into instructing you how to build up the reading process with their children. I highly recommend all three of these sites. As you can see here with the cards, I have this one. This is from the This Reading Mama. We have the letter. It also has some words to go with it. Penguin, pizza, pig. Almost eight, nine years ago, I had already printed these out and laminated everything and they have stayed over the time. I'm on my third child and using these. We have the V with volcano, violin, vest. Here's another. So what I do is with having all of these little cards, what I'm going to start building right now, because my preschooler, he really is in that stage of ready to do his schoolwork. What I'm going to build are little boxes. Let's call them busy boxes boxes or little study boxes and each box will get a different set of cards and activities. These are the types of activities that will be in the box for him to go through with me during the day. Here we have some letters. I love using this one where they have the single lowercase letters just to work on letter sounds. Here's a set of cards from The Measured Mom and I love hers here. They're so vibrant with very colorful pictures and also here you're a, you get a chance to trace the letters 
letters with your finger as you go through the letters, but I love these cards too, but just a variety. This one was a paid set. I know that I purchased this one on Teachers Paid Teachers. It was a pretty low price and just nice variety of illustrations and ways of presenting the alphabet to your child. This one, it's a little bit boring, but it gets the job done. All I did was I printed out the uppercase letters and the lowercase letters with my little guy. All we do is we go through pointing and singing the alphabet song with the letters. You can also use the same board in going through the letters and repeating the letter sounds. Be creative in how you create your tools in the house. This next one is to be used with our good old friend, Plato. So this is just a simple a letter, but I like to use these. I usually will either laminate them or put them in a plastic sleeve. This one came from Preschool Mom. I believe this is also a free printable. I will double check and of course leave the link below. Using these for a hands-on activity where we just roll up that Play-Doh and start shaping the letters. There is no kid who does not love Play-Doh and the beauty of hands-on activities is at that point, they really, it's not so much memorizing, they're immersed, you know, with their senses and learning these letters and learning the sounds. Handwriting without tears is one of my favorite handwriting curriculums. And when you're in the preschool years, we're first just learning the letters. They have these wooden pieces and a blue board, which I will bring it out the packet here. And what your child does is they just put together, let's put together something simple. Let's put together the letter D. So we have a wood stick here. We have a couple of round pieces and we have a couple of shorter wood pieces. What they would do is put together the letter D on the mat. And first of all, we've got motor skills going as we're putting together that letter. We can then run their finger around the letter to get a sense of how the letter feels. And from there, they can just have fun putting together the block pieces. So this is a great hands-on activity. The only limitation with this one is that it only does the uppercase letters but when you're starting out that's just good enough when you're doing these the other part of the handwriting without tears preschool program is the use of this little chalkboard another fun thing to do what I do is I write with chalk the letter so writing the letter a and then from there they give you like these little sponges and I don't have them on my lap here with the sponge your child can trace the letter so that is also another way of getting them used to the feeling of writing their letters. Handwriting without tears has always been a top curriculum program in our house. With all of these things, we can always do letter formation and letter sound and letter recognition, but these are specifically for getting those little hands to moving in the correct direction. This one, I was a complete sucker because I have been seeing this for a while and I was like, no, 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 why do I need that? And then finally it came through on my Instagram and I was like, but that's so cute, so I have to try it. I am trying this baby out for you guys and so far, so good. What I like is you get this little magnetic pen and from there, they follow along with your help because at this age, they don't really know to follow these arrows. So you give them a little assistance in telling them which sides to start on and go around. But I think it's just a fun way of starting the whole process of learning how to create the letters. We have the uppercase letters on one side and then on the other side, we have the lowercase letters as well. Personally, I like starting with the uppercase when it comes to writing, but I have to say so far, I'm happy with this purchase. This one is a great one for our collection. Another new one in our collection is this here wooden alphabet tracing board. I totally embrace Montessori style of learning and I am going to show you this board. This is a lovely wooden board, double sided. You get the little wooden, let's call it pencil here. You have your lowercase letters and then on the other side we have, oh I lost my pencil. We have the 
uppercase letters. What I like about this is that you can use it in two ways. What I like beginning with is just the finger. So just running the finger over the letters just like this, or if they insist, because they probably will insist, <laughs> is using the little pencil. And it fits right into those grooves for them for making the letters. So far, again, I love it. I didn't use this with the first two, so my third is getting lucky that I'm like, ooh, I need some extra exciting stuff in the house. This is just a good basic to have in starting the letter formation. And of course, you can incorporate as many types of games as you want with this. Another thing that you can use, which I haven't done yet, is I wanna just grab some Play-Doh, make some little circles of the Play-Doh, and smush it into the little shapes. So then they can make little letter shapes in the Play-Doh with this board. Another one of my Amazon finds, just because honestly, I am being lazy because I could have done this as a free printable somewhere and just cut them out and laminate it, but who has time for that? I have three children I'm trying to like educate and I have a job and all types of stuff. So I really love these. Now this box honestly is a lot bigger than for what is inside. Here we have these cardboard, um, pieces puzzle pieces and I will show you here I already have one out let's say we have Sun it's self-correcting I like that it has an uppercase and lowercase um, letter it has a word and then the associated pictures this is a fun way of not only getting the letter recognition but also you can do the formation of the letter and also build the letter sound this last amazon find you're gonna say how did you not have this after educating two children but <laughs> i finally bit the bullet and got the full box set of the magnetic letters. This is the one where all the vowels are in red and the consonants are in blue. I like this set so far. I like that it has a really full collection. The best thing to do is to have a nice magnetic whiteboard to use. We have a lot of whiteboards in our house. As you see in the image is that we have a huge one that I like using with my big kids and also my little one loves using that big easel whiteboard for doing just like dry erase coloring and also the letters. Just a simple little board like this will be useful. This little box of magnets is well worth it. I don't even know why I waited so long to get one. My only piece of advice is keep your eyes on it because there has been several occasions where my little guy has just dumped all the pieces out on the floor and that just becomes a hot mess of having to organize again. Lots of fun for mommy, but other than that, it is well worth the money. These are all the hands-on activities that I have right now, but I can tell you for sure I am gonna be on Amazon again shopping because I am just feeling the preschool fever. I will make sure to share with you any new finds that I get, but I also also, we'll make sure to put together a video about these activity boxes that I'm going to make for my little guy. And in the comments below, share any activities that you have found useful. This is a community of super mamas, so please share, share, share. And check out the links below, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.